Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host, Veteran Mountain Man, and it is once again Prepared Monday. And uh, we are going to continue on this uh, advanced breakdown on the different types of carry knives. And we're going to be looking at non-tactical or non-modern locking folders. Now, the, the term non-modern in this instance is going to mean that it's, it's built in the classical style. So it has... Um, older manufacturing techniques being used instead of the modern polymers and plastics and things of that nature or instead of modern materials such as like the composite lath woods or you know the epoxy resins and that kind of stuff so coming up on the screen right now is actually a ring lock opinel now some of you who have heard some of my prepared uh, blogs before will know that this is one of the locking folders I actually highly recommend for a couple of different reasons. Number one, it will lock closed with that ring lock design. And number two, it locks open without any kind of spring mechanism. Instead, you use that spinning barrel lock. And it's a lot more sturdy than most people would think because it's a compression fit. Um, as you turn it, it actually tightens the lock. And so you can tighten it down quite well and then get onto that handle and have a pretty good grip. It makes an excellent yard work knife. It makes an excellent harvesting knife. Um, I bought several this year to give away as holiday gifts for some of my friends because they need knives for when they go harvesting at you pick places so that they can cut fresh vegetables and fresh fruits off the vines and trees. Um, and this is a great tool to do that with. Now, I'm going to start scrolling through and showing you some other images here. Uh, many of these are more traditional case-style knives. I've got a hawk bill here with a liner lock. Uh, we also have a more classical hunter set style. And you can see that many of these features are pretty standard and similar to the non-locking old school folder knives. Uh, the big difference is, is that these have a lock. Now, many times your locking folders have fewer blades. As you can tell by looking at these, most of these are single blade knives. Uh, even in your modern stuff, you usually, if it's a multi-blade set, you only have one or two locking blades. Uh, a big exception would be like the Leatherman Wave or Surge, where you've got exterior fold-out blades that lock to the frame. And you've got interior stuff that locks using a different locking mechanism. But those realistically fall in a multi-tool, not so much a, a pocket knife type situation. So we're going to ignore those for this uh, purpose, because that's kind of a different set of discussions. Uh, but as you can see, many of these are just classic, clean, slimline style knives, and they have been carried by Americans for many, many, many decades. Uh, you can get them in all sorts of decorative designs, all sorts of handle materials, and they're just a good all-around knife. Now, some of them are larger, as you can see by that large hunter that I've flashed on the screen, but realistically most of these are designed to carry in your pocket these aren't something super long or super big or anything of that nature uh, these guys actually even fall into the collector's item category when you start talking about some of the decorative sets out there but this is what i recommend for most people as a daily carry either a non-locking version of these with multiple blades or a locking version of these that fits within their concealed carry laws of their state or city well i want to thank you all again for joining me on this prepared monday please don't forget to like and subscribe on youtube or thumbs up and subscribe on bitshoot also, don't forget you can visit me on the other social media, including Minds, Twitter, and Gab.ai. Their links are down below. I'm looking at possibly setting up a, uh, a new account instead of at Patreon at one of the other 
uh, crowdfunding sites. If I do, I will start updating my videos with that link instead. I know that a lot of people don't like Patreon, but if you could, go ahead and donate down below. Thank you all, and have yourselves a great day.